All right, hello and welcome to this Forex Market Analysis. Um, well, I am going to be taking you through a few pairs that are showing very clear directional biases and that will be paying attention, uh, very uh, strict attention in this trading week uh, in order to see how we can profit from those pairs, okay? All right, before we conduct the analysis, let's quickly look into the forex factory economical calendar to see those high impact news announcements that are scheduled for this upcoming trading week and as you probably know we only pay attention to those uh, high impact news announcement uh, that is those marked in red and uh, also bank holidays just to be sure uh, we know which currency uh, uh, banks may not be open uh, within a trading day okay uh, every other um, type of uh, news announcement we do not give uh, serious attention to them so we just pay attention to the high impact news announcement uh, those news announcements that have the capacity to influence the market and uh, possibly even change their directions all right, so for this uh, trading week uh, from uh, Monday uh, the 10th of January to Friday the 14th of January, we have uh, all of these high impact news announcements scheduled for the week. And uh, surprisingly, uh, all high impact news announcements are for the American dollar, all right? So uh, only the American dollar will be having or feeling the heat uh, all American dollar crosses will be feeling the heat for this um, upcoming trading week. And so uh, you, as an intraday trader, uh, needs to uh, give uh, serious attention to these uh, news announcements as soon as they are released. Be careful um, so you are not caught up uh, once these news announcements are pumped into the market on their scheduled days. All right. Uh, Tuesday to Friday. All right, uh, now let's move on freely into the charts and uh, conduct our analysis, beginning with the American dollar against the Japanese yen. Now let's look at this pair. Like I said, um, the uh, pairs you are going to be looking into are pairs that have shown very clear directional biases. And of course they are at their very optimal areas for us to begin to search for uh, uh, our entries. Now, looking into the monthly time frame of uh, this pair, the American dollar against the Japanese yen. Um, as you can see, we have uh, a trend line, all right? A trend somewhere in the air. It got broken, okay? Got broken right there. Um, that brings all of this uh, price action uh, to a temporary end, okay? So, we are now going to be focusing on this next move recall that the direction here was to the downside uh, right now the direction has now changed to the upside so we are going to be looking at um, uh, this new direction we are going to be analyzing uh, what is actually going on there okay so uh, the first thing we want to do is to uh, draw the trend line connecting those bounce points uh, these two bounce points right here you're going to have a trend line and so we will look at that in the um, weekly time frame Let's uh, quickly. All right. So in the weekly time frame, we are going to be drawing our trend line right there, connecting those uh, bounce points. And as uh, you also probably know, our uh, weekly lines are colored in blue. Okay. Right there. So um, price came, bounce. This was the uh, beginning of that uh, trend. I uh, went up took sideways then we found another bounce right here went up and now it seems to be sideways and another push to the upside well uh, for price action traders we are reading this price behavior right here okay that is what we are reading just like price came all the way here then that behavior right there to have brought it back down even if it is a temporary move all right so we are looking at um some reversal formation uh, that was the uh, previous high right there okay then that's the top let me just uh, zoom in so you can have a clearer picture okay now um, just like we have 
uh, this high right here okay that's the top you can see that uh, bounce right here okay to drive price to the downside um, it is this type of uh, movement to the downside that we want to see how we can make profit from in this scenario okay so um, we are going to mark that high I'm just going to place a uh, level right here okay right there and again we have um, a bottom right there that's um, the lower swing this is the highest swing okay so um, with price now took up took off to that area and you can see that rejection of that area that gives us the hint that the next move should be to the downside all right so that is what i want to show you uh that there might be a trading opportunity here for us okay so for uh, those who are members of our live trading room we are going to be showing you we'll be sending the signal out to you to show you how to take the entry uh on this potential opportunity that we have here again if we look into our professional uh, indicator which is the uh, oracle indicator if we apply that into our chart um even though um we have we don't really have okay just a slight um uh, correlation above the 75 percent uh, requirement uh we have 76 percent right here okay um we are seeing here that price will drop for at least a hundred pips okay for those of you who know the hint side uh, oracle indicator this indicator gives us some level of intelligence uh, it tells us uh, the next move all right um let me reduce this thing okay i'm sure it is clearer now all right so it tells us the next move uh, as you can see here that price will likely move to the downside so with that level of intelligence it gives us uh, a bit of a confidence to take that trade okay so with the hint side indicate with the hint side um, oracle indicator on our side um we are more confident to take this trade okay all right so uh, like i said uh, for those who are um uh, members of the live uh, trading room we are going to be sending you the signal on how to get involved in this trade let's dig uh, let's dig a little bit uh, to the lower time frame i uh, just want to show you uh, what's also going on here just a minute okay all right now you can see here that we had a trend line let me draw that with a standard trend line a trend line right there that is currently being broken uh put that in uh, red okay you can see it's currently being violated right there, being broken uh before that trend line see what's happening here push down bottom out push up lower high okay the low remains in the same direction another lower high right there before we are seeing the breakout so for those of you who are price action trader you could see that we have a reversal formation in form of a flat bottom triangle okay that's a clear move uh, that price is actually changing that direction and for us we are going to be following this very closely to see how we can make profit from further pushes to the downside in the american dollar against japanese yen if anything changes of course uh, members of the live trading room will be notified and of course we will let you know what's going on for now we are bearish and searching for short opportunities in the American dollar against the Japanese yen. All right, now let's move on to the next pair of this review. The Australian dollar against the Japanese yen, the monthly time frame. Well, uh, again, a trend came to an end. It was broken right there. A price now push up. And again, we had... Um, another trend there that came to an end and was broken right there so we are going to be paying attention to this price action right there so in the um, uh, weekly time frame let's just keep a level here we're going to draw uh, a level at that high there okay um, keep it in blue then we are also going to be keeping 
another one right here this is more like um uh, a range okay it's more like a range well this is not what i am actually looking at i am looking at um the possibility of um we'll keep this one here the possibility of a flat bottom triangle formation where price is likely going to dip further to the downside right where price is likely going to in fact that is why i'm analyzing this pair that this is an optimal area to begin to search for your short opportunity um in this pair i'm expecting the price uh, even though you may have a little pullback all right price should come down and even further down maybe to somewhere around the uh, 75 uh point uh three zero zero area all right maybe somewhere around here uh so this pair in my view as a price action trader is uh optimal optimally bearish and we'll be searching for short opportunities in the daily time frame uh we'll be waiting for this all per level here to be broken all right this rising trend line um to be broken okay um that rising trend line. okay uh price made a good move to the downside so it's now facing that trend line we will be happy to see this trend line broken to the downside and possibly a pullback for us to now look for our short entry um again the australian dollar against the japanese yen we are looking for short opportunities okay all right so if we find the entry of course uh, as a vip member we will let you know thanks for watching till uh, this uh, moment expect more videos are uh, uh, in the next um, a few hours right once we find any pair at an optimal area we will surely try to explain that in a video wishing you a profitable trading week ahead bye bye